This video, I'm going to be breaking down 335 odd and how to run the 335 odd defense in Madden 25. A couple different versions of the blitzes that we're going to be going over in this video. And if you want to check out my entire Minnesota Vikings defensive ebook, which is the playbook that this is found in, you can get that full ebook completely updated in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. That link is going to be in the description below for just 10 bucks. You get access to all of our Madden and College Football 25 offensive and defensive ebooks. And as well as all of the updates uh, to those ebooks. So, whenever there's a patch, whenever there's a change in the game, whenever something's found, you're always going to have the early access to that content and you're going to be on uh, on the cutting edge of the knowledge gap within this game. So, if you want to check that out, that's going to be down in the description. So, a couple things that you want to do before we get into the plays you want to make sure that your auto flip is off and your auto alignment is on base. The next thing you want to do, really important, is you want to make sure that you have the CB inside package in, uh, turned on within this defense. This is going to fix the adjustments, it's going to allow you to move linebackers and all that. Now, the main play that we're going to be running this out of is Hot Blitz 3. It's the easiest play as far as setup in, in the defense. So, what you're going to do uh, for a setup here is you're just going to show blitz and then you're just going to slide this linebacker out uh, side just like this. And then a couple different options, a couple different ways uh, in which that you can run this defense. You can do whatever you want with the coverage behind it. We're just going to contain off this edge. And what you're going to see here is you're going to get this nice five man blitz. Typically, is going to get you pressure if they send five out, all right? If they send five out, this is normally going to be pressure. Uh, I think I forgot to pinch the line there. You do want to pinch the line uh, as well. So let me show you that one more time. And again, you're just kind of standing here, and you're really just trying to pull this guard inside. And there you see there's that double edge pressure. Really, really nice against um, against a five out defense or five out offense. Now, if you wanted to send four, uh, you can try to send four. And the best way to send four out of this, in my opinion, is to send this linebacker. If they do send five out, a lot of times this comes in, as you see, you get that instantaneous edge pressure off the right side. And this is going to force different types of pass protection uh, within, within your opponent's, you know, repertoire. They're going to have to have different types of pass protection to block this blitz. One of the easiest things is they're just going to block a running back. But as you see, if the running back is not on the side of the blitzer, it is not going to be effective. One of the other things that they can do is they can block a tight end. Now, normally, a block tight end is a pretty good strategy for most blitzes uh, year in and year out. And what you'll see here is if I block that tight end, it does block that edge pressure off of that left side. What I like to do is whenever they start to block a tight end, there's a couple different tactics that you can take and a couple different methods in which you can get pressure. One of them is you can try to send six. Um, and this send six is not terrible at all. And what you'll see here is we get this slot corner off that edge uh, coming in on a send six. So you're going to have a good shot for that backside slot corner uh, to get pressure on a send six, which this is really simple because literally this is pretty much what the play is. You're just sending six. And then what you'll see here, that slot corner screams off of the edge. When I send six out of this, I normally don't like to contain. Um, and the reason why is you'll notice that the slot corner is going to take a little better angle. And when you send six, you're just going to see it's a little cleaner of pressure, uh, in my opinion. Now, if they block a running back, uh, let's just say they're blocking running back consistently on you, you can still send six on this as well. So this send six is really, really good. You have a send four, a send five, and a send six within this defense, which I think makes it really, really valuable. Um, now, if they're consistently blocking a running back and you're wanting to send six, I like to contain... Um, on this right hand side here, I just don't love the slot corner on the container. I don't think it's the best. So you want to just kind of send it like this. And as you see, there's a sun six and you see he comes completely in free. So this is going to force a max protect. Uh, one of the other things that you have in this defense, I think, is pretty favorable uh, safety alignment and ability to craft a lot of different coverages. Now, I want to be honest with you, the best coverage in the game, in my opinion, would be something like this. This is a very consistent send four. If they send five out, they're going to have to block somebody to take that away, and then that's going to open up some of your other blitzing strategies within this defense. But in general, I think this is one of the best, if not the best defense in the game right now. Um, and I'll show you this linebacker real quick, uh, not in a contain. But if you guys want to check out my entire 335-odd defensive ebook, uh, that is in our school community, in our Vikings defensive ebook, that is going to be linked in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you get access to everything in our school community. Thanks for watching the video, and to check out the full ebooks, 
link is in the description below.